right the other thing that i actually bought for my hair was during the black friday sales i decided to get an ionic conditioning hair dryer <laughs> that's because as i was reading up about um you know what other people were using to deal with their relaxed hair I also realized that I probably need to upgrade my dryer situation because the dryer that I have is a really old dryer and it's done the job and it's a hooded dryer but it does take ages to dry my hair as I mentioned before and I read about ionic hair dryers they're supposed to actually be faster when it comes to drying your hair and because they take less time your hair is being exposed to less heat it's supposed to be better for your hair. So I got this one, the Remington one. It, it was highly reviewed and it also comes with a diffuser because I thought it would be a good idea to get a diffuser. My daughters, they've got type 3A, type 2 hair, which I heard benefits from using a diffuser because I'm also learning how to look after my daughter's hair's, um, hair as well. And it turns out Amazon no longer bothers with packaging because this, this is what rocked up on my doorstep. And it was a rainy day and I was very, very annoyed because they just put it on the doorstep because of COVID rules. When they deliver things now, they don't hand them over to you. They put them down and then you have to pick them up. And it was outside. And it wasn't in a box. It was just like this. And you can see it's got the prime wrapping and it's got the label here with my address on it. Okay. And I was about to open it for the unboxing and I realized that they've got a little label here that says, please do not open unless you intend to keep the product. Well, how am I going to know that I want to keep the product if I can't open it to try it out? I think that's very cheeky of Amazon. Personally, I think it's really, really cheeky. And just the fact that they're sending it out in this box, because if this box gets damaged, how am I supposed to return it? So... Anyway, not very happy with, with Amazon Prime and how they are treating their customers. So anyway, we're going to do an unboxing of this little rant over. We're going to unbox this up. Now that I've opened it, I think that the packaging is really good. It does come in very solidly packaged and, you know, the extra cardboard boxes ensure that there is no breakage. The pieces feel very solidly built. They feel quite, um, you know, they don't feel like they're cheap or anything like that. And I quite like the swirly pattern on this diffuser i have no idea how to use this but looking at it i feel like i want to try and use it and this is the concentrator and it's really nice and wide my old hair dryer it had a very small concentrator so i do appreciate that this is nice and wide it's a little bit difficult to get on. I did struggle to try and get it to slot in. It's not very easy. But once it is on, it was very solid. It stayed very solidly. In terms of weight, this is heavier than my previous hair dryer. But I think that's to be expected given the technology that is used in these. It handles very nicely. The 
it feels very good to hold because it's slightly bulky at the bottom and it narrows towards the neck which means it nestles into the hand beautifully I also like the fact that it's got all of these management controls. My previous hair dryer, it only had one and two heat settings. That was it, number one and number two. But this one, we've got a one and two fan. So you've got actually three positions on the switch. So you've got off and then you've got medium fan and then high fan. And then you can also control the amount of heat here you've got um, one, low, medium, and high. And it's very intuitive and very easy to control, as you can see. And then you also have the cold burst button here, which I've read is quite useful, um, especially when you're dealing with relaxed hair. But it feels good. The colors are beautiful to look at. And you can see it's got so many heating elements, so much more than the dryer that I had before. Go check the noise. Let's see how loud this is. So I've plugged it in now and I'm just going to turn it on. I'm just going to turn it on. It heats up very quickly and it is so responsive so when I was changing the heat levels it was instantly responding to that and when I was pressing the uh, cold burst I definitely felt the cold burst so wow and the sound is it's not as noisy as my much smaller hair dryer I expected this to be a lot noisier given the size and the weight of it, but it isn't very impressive. So if you're looking for a new hair dryer, I highly recommend this Remington Ionic one, particularly if you're looking for an Ionic hair dryer. It is very reasonably priced, definitely um, on the mid scale of the hair dryers that were there. And it comes with a diffuser and a concentrator, and you've got so many options of controlling the heat setting, and it just feels so fantastic to hold honestly i feel like um, i could be in a sci-fi star trek as an extra with my laser gun just going it's a joy to to hold it i really like the handle design especially when compared to my last hair dryer and it is ionic which is supposed to be way better for your hair it handles really well and it's not loud it's not as loud as you would expect from a hair dryer this size which is a big plus for me well that's all for now take care bye